and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some Christmas DIYs that I thought you'd enjoy. If you like high-end home decor, DIYs on a budget, hauls, clean with me, basically all things home, then click that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now let's jump into my first DIY. Now I'm going to use my small cloche along with some items that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot to create a winter scene inside of this cloche. I've also created some winter scenes in my large cloche. If you haven't seen those videos, I'm going to link them up above in the cards. I'm going to use the Epsom salt for two purposes. One is to give me that snow effect and it's also to level out the bottom of this cloche. And then I also have some of the glittery snow that I got from the Dollar Tree. I love it because it has that iridescent, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I'm just going to add some of that to the top. And then I'm going to take this um, lamp post. This lamp post is a part of a Christmas village that I did a few years back. So I'm going to take that and add it to the other side of the house here. And now I'm going to add some twinkle lights on the inside of the cloche. video is in conjunction with a collaboration called Christmas Friend Friday Hop and it's being hosted by Heidi of Heidi Sumball DIY along with me and several other content creators here on YouTube our goal is to share with you some Christmas DIY inspiration for the holiday season now there's a twist to how this works after watching my video and clicking the like button you're going to look down below in my description box for a link be sure to leave a comment along the way and hop over to the next person in line and continue that following all the links until you get back to me. Now the reason you want to do this is because we're hosting an awesome giveaway. We all pitched in for this awesome crafters dream giveaway. So be sure to leave a comment after watching each video for your chance to win at this week's giveaway. I'm excited to see who the winner is going to be. So good luck. And for this DIY project, I'm going to use a fall sign that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm going to pop off that element and repaint it white. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use spray paint or whether I wanted to use chalk paint. I decided I'm going to use spray paint and I got this from Home Depot. I'm going to be using some burlap ribbon and I got this from Michaels. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this garland wreath or not, but I might. And this came from Hobby Lobby. And I got the wooden letters Joy. And those came from Hobby Lobby. So now I'm going to pop off this apple element and paint the sign. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back from painting this Target Dollar Spot fall frame. I'm going to run some burlap ribbon here down the center and crossways to make it look like a gift. Fold that back just a little bit, just to give me a neater edge. I apologize for the wind chimes that you hear going on in the background. It's a blustery day today. It's sunny, but slightly blustery.
And then I'm gonna use the wreath. I decided to use the wreath. It's really garland, but I'm using it as a wreath as opposed to the O. Because I like how the green is picking up the uh, green on the edges of my burlap ribbon. I like that. In this DIY, I'm gonna make a cone Christmas tree using a cone form that I got from Hobby Lobby and I got some white faux fur yarn from Hobby Lobby as well. And I got some juniper berry picks. FYI, this is the 12 inch cone form. Now I'm gonna wrap this. I'm gonna start at the bottom. And now we're here. <laughs> I think that's gonna be cute. I'm gonna take some hot glue. Hot glue and styrofoam is not really good friends. I do have some styrofoam glue, um, so if I have to, I'll switch over to styrofoam glue, but my intent is just to use a little bit, uh, I don't need a lot, just a little bit to get me started and maybe somewhere in the middle. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out. And make sure you follow. I'm gonna take this wreath that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm gonna take this ornament that I also got from the Target Dollar Spot and a piece of ribbon. And because it already has the hook, I'm just going to use that uh, to attach it to the wreath form. You can cut that off if you want to, or as I just did, you can leave it and um, repurpose this ornament. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna make some gift tags. I like to add a little personalized touch by creating my own gift tags for the holiday gifts that I give out. We'll start with the red one first. So I'm gonna take a sentiment. This sentiment here says merry and bright. And I know I wanna put it about right there. And then I got a to and a from. Once I've got my sentiments on the door of my platform, I'm going to stamp them. Versa, I'm going to stamp them with some Versamark ink. This is so that I can heat emboss the sentiment. And I'm going to do it a couple times. And that's the wonderful part about this um, platform is that I don't have to worry about my sentiments or anything shifting. I'll take the gift tag out and I'm gonna sprinkle it with some red embossing powder. And now I'm going to emboss it. I'm gonna put it on a clothespin now because if you've ever been burnt by hot glue, you know how painful that is. Well, that's nothing compared to getting burnt by a heat embossing gun. Put a little chalk on there to keep it, to keep the uh, embossing powder from falling in places you don't want it to be. I'm gonna put it back on the platform. And we've already done Mary, Mary and Wright, and we did Joy. Now we're going to do Let It Snow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment because I'd love to hear which DIY was your favorite. I will also leave a couple links at the end of this video if you'd like to see more home decor by Creative Glam. But right now is the time to look in my description box and follow that link to the next person in line. Hop on over to their video and leave a comment. And when you're all done, I'll see you right back here. Bye.